be strong. Be strong. Man, it is kind of crazy that this is the first time this season, right? <clears throat> in this Madden season or franchise where I get to say this. It's Pro Bowl week and we're taking a nice relaxing day off because we're about to play the Super Bowl next week. Um, I'm excited. Man, this is this is this is incredible. Let's get some music going, All right? This is incredible. So first off, right, we have no one in the we have no one in this race, right? But let's take a look at the Pro Bowl roster anyway. All right, we have no one in this race, right? Rookie on the NFC side, that's kind of cool. Colin Brackett, uh, Lamar, yep, Trev, Josh Allen, wow, wow, um, Jacobs, Chubb, Harris, wow, uh, Blazin game, use check, Hill, Metcalf, Mike Williams, Debo. D Hop, G D Hop is our fifth. Damn. Uh, Cole Komet, Gasecki, and Hargrave. All right. Uh, we got Wilson Anderson or uh, Wilson Thomas Dickerson, Fragna. Ooh, Lindenbaum. All right. What is that? This one is that showing like who has the better? Okay, so look, yeah, it's showing who's which position is better. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. The first eleven players we have a better. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Tie. It's twenty-two. Let's uh, let's go twenty-one. So twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Wow. Um, kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy, man. We have a lot of really good players in really good positions. It is also funny, like, for instance, like this, right? Because, like, even with even with White there, you could set this up so it's, like, it's still the same thing. It's still 2-2, two and two, but just differently, right? Um, TJ Walt and Sean Gary... Jesus. The crazy one, though, is is right here. Par it, Garrett Parsons, Hendrickson, Aaron Donald. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, but, all right, so. That's the Pro Rosters, right? Boom, boom. Don't need to look at staff stuff. All right, weekly awards. We got a weekly award last week. We got both of them. Barno and Mitchell uh, got both weekly awards. Um... So we're gonna look at uh, the actual awards now, right? Uh, stats awards. We will look at the actual awards now. Uh, so let's take a look at yearly. The yearly awards. Let me move myself. I gotta. We gotta do. We do this every time. I gotta move myself over, right? Josh Allen, Mahomes, Brackett, Lawrence, right? Ritter, Daniel Jones. The fact that we're not even on this list and we're in the Super Bowl right now is, is uh, annoying to me. But it is what it is. Coach of the year? Bullshit. It should be Emmanuel Ortega. This dude took a team that was barely, like kind of in the playoff hunt. Bad season. We are in the Super Bowl. That, yeah. No. 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 No, 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 no. Boom. Offensive player of the year. Mm-hmm. Talking, 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 talking. Uh. All right. So, Huskies, though. Um, man, you talk a lot of shit. Hey, um, yeah, so Keaton Mitchell, boom, offense player of the year, love it. Defense player of the year, Micah Parsons, Shaq, Miles Garrett, uh, Bardo's on the board, and so's JJ. Jalen's on the board too, which is nice. Um, offensive rookie of the year is Damon Thompson. If it wasn't Damon Thompson, we were gonna, I was gonna fight someone, like fist fight someone. Just yeah, no, Thompson should be the guy. And he is. Kenya Boss, um, doing solid, and surprisingly. Will, Will Tuck's on here, which is kind of cool. Because Tuck only got a couple of carries this year. Like, he got a couple touchdowns, but he only got a couple of carries, I feel like. So, defensive rookie of the year. Um, we only really had Colbert as our defensive as our defensive rookie. We also had Juan Kelly, but, I mean, right? Uh, Colbert was, like, the main guy. So, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Because uh, he, he had a good season for us. It's just that he didn't have a flashy season. Right? He didn't have an award flashy season, so... Uh, we're still not on the board for West quarterback, which is kind of upsetting, but that is it is what it is, right? We can't really do too much about that. Best running back, though, is Keaton Mitchell. Boom. Best wide receiver, 
We don't have one. They don't have a best tight ends thing, so it's bullshit. Best line. Uh, Stanley's all the way down to seven. I like that, but I think Stanley should be higher. Uh, best D line. Uh, Barno came in third. That's fine. It's behind Parsons and Aaron Donald. And, and Barno didn't have that good of a season. That's the other thing. Right? Barno played well, but he didn't have that good of a season. Uh, best linebacker. Nope. Which is unfortunate, because my linebackers had a good season. Just That's what's up, though. Right there. Jalen gets best, best DB. We're doing our thing. I love that. Best kicker. Still no respect, man. No respect. No respect. No respect across the board. Um, let's take a look at actual stats. Three thousand yards passing for Duggan, which I don't know if this is a, if this is a high for him. Um, it isn't. However, though, it is a, just a better season. Yeah, it's easily his best season, but yardage wise, though, it's not his best. But it is the best season he's had by far. Right when you look at the stats. Um, and then rushing, it's kind of the same thing. First year, he ran a lot more. Um, so, uh, Keaton, yet again, Keaton just did his thing. See, look, Will Tuck only had 127 car yards and four touch four tutties. Like, that's it. And he got freaking, he's on, like, he's on the board for best offensive rookie. That's terrible. Um, but Keaton doing his thing, though. All right, the fran the franchise right here. The franchise boy. Um... 13, 15, 22, 78, you know, a lot less, uh, not a lot less yards, like 100 less yards, but nine more touchdowns, right? A longer, a longer long, like throwing, breaking tackles, like, yeah, no. His average went down, but our team was better. Um, Damon Thompson killed it. And then after that, we really spread the ball out. Because, I mean, like, look, 30, 26, 23, 20, 38, 36. And that's, I knew that was going to happen when I drafted Damon, right? When we drafted Zero, right, we knew this was going to happen. We knew that Damon was going to take the majority of the catches. He was going to be the majority of the targets. He was going to be the guy, right? We knew that going into the season. The rest of this was always going to be an interesting thing just to see how they did and how everyone else played, right? And we did well. Everyone did well. They all played their role. They all got catches. They all got yards. It's just that Damon did that and more, right? We really don't have a one. I was hoping Boss might be able to turn eventually into a one, but it just that ain't happening. Um, blocking. Everyone played this year. Um, my entire O-line let up one sack each, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. At the same time, we'll take that. Um... Defense, Stanford, and Monday killed it. Monday's Monday's been playing great. Um, at one point, I was thinking about replacing Monday, and then this season, he just came out and said, nope. No, you're not. So, Monday's been playing great. Stanford's playing great. D's still having a great season, a great season right? Um, this kind of hurts because Hayward got hurt throughout the year, and Hayward's a DN that's plays D-tackle for us. So like this hole here though is just like we gotta we gotta fix this we gotta get as much as I like Beal we gotta fight it we gotta get another pass rusher and we gotta get another D lineman in there, um, so that's that. This was a nice surprise. They challenged him a lot and he said no. Um, I'd like to see Ward get some more stuff considering that we drafted him really high, um, but it's nice seeing a guy that was originally an original OG to the team. Uh, doing his thing, right? We had a couple. We had a couple. I don't think we had a safety. We had we had a couple touchdowns. One, two, three, four, five. We had five offensive touchdowns. Bra, Barno, Smoke, Stanford, and Jay. So, um, Tucky, Tucky did well this year. 100% on extra points. 91 on field goals. He missed two field goals with a long of a 59. Yeah, I'll, we'll take that all day. Punting, we actually punted eight times. So that's kind of cool. Uh, two touchdown returns on kick return, and then we had nine, uh, 200 yards on punt, and we were like a cup. We were close to getting a punt or two off this year. It felt like so. Um. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to take a quick peek, right? I do want to look at the news to see if, because sometimes in here you can find random, and it doesn't look like there is right there, but sometimes you can find random uh, information about guys that are in the draft. So. 
we're going to take a quick peek. Not long. We're going to take a quick peek, right? We'll take a quick peek into kind of some of these guys here. I don't think I've... Oh, I have favored some guys. Okay, cool. Um, so let's just maneuver some of these around. Actually, no, wait, no. I... I know what I know why I didn't why I had him there or down here. All right, so so laws is still there. I mean that's the thing that we we now know we're going to be drafting at the end of the first, right? So we're going to be drafting down here somewhere, probably where it says one two from here on. Um, I don't need another corner. I don't need another corner. Really. However, um, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add that guy. Cause that will bring that could make it so if we don't get Bra back, for instance, maybe we can bring Vince in and Vince can play that slot the slot nickel there. He has a B tackle, so I mean Um See here, let's do this. I'm gonna just go by position. Uh, right tackle was a position they say I should look at. My right tackle was a D. Um, so Canefield. Yep, he's already on our board. S strength is great to elite. Yep. Yep, that's one of the boys we're looking at. And now I'm just gonna go look here. Mike knows decent solid. That's not good enough. Decent solid not, is not good enough for me. Poor and marginal is really not good enough for me. <laughs> That is really now we're into undrafted. Uh, center. Uh, Alec Dillon. Okay, so we have a couple. We have these two guys right here. Um, so we're gonna we'll look at left tackle real quick just to see. Maybe maybe there's someone here that we could potentially get and then flip. Right. Great to elite. He's slow as dirt, but great to elite. Devin Thomas, a late round guy. All right, so Devin Thomas right now, yeah, he could be a guy that we put a, a right tackle. So six nine three fifty four. God damn, bro, just a big boy. And then I looked at them. We've been looking at fullbacks too, which we might look at. We might we might get a fullback. Um, so that's another one that is interesting. Free safety though. Tolbert, a great to elite. Good to great. Why am I not look at him? Pursuit is a B is an A. B awareness. B zone. C hit power. C tackle. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add Tolbert to the board. So Tolbert, Tompkins, Laws. You have these three. Um, I mean, D'Angelo Tompkins is just wild. A awareness. A pursuit. A hit power. B tackle. B zone. Like yeah, D'Angelo Tompkins. It's kind of the guy I want to go for, honestly. Uh, but we do have other needs as well that we need to fill, which is... Um, what about John Mack here? Late round guy. Great elite speed. We'll add him. I like some. I like me some speed here. Middle linebacker apparently is a, is a D for us, which is wild to me. That doesn't seem right. But, with that being said, though, Desmond Cooper... Could be a guy. Great elite speed. Will Arrington. Ooh, we could get an Arrington in here. Great elite speed and good to great strength. There's two right there. Mid-round guys. Two mid-round guys right there. Good to great. Poor to marginal, though. I can't add. Mm. I need my lineman to at least be like, if a, if a lineman gets up to them, they're not just going to get crumbled, right? Like, that's something that we need, to, we need to make sure we get. Like, we can't just be out here just, you know. Stepping up and just getting absolutely just demolished. Um, so D, D tackle. See, it's interesting. D, D, my entire D line is a C plus. Right, we we have other positions we we greatly need to upgrade. However, though, we need to we need to find someone. Goodrich is just a monster of a man. It looks like good to great, good to great. A's and B's across the board, like. I mean, Goodrich could be a first-round guy for us, too. Uh, let's see here. A tackle. Decent to solid speed, but great to elite strength. You guys know how I like my my, bo my big boys. All right, we want them strong. Um, 
I'm not marginal to decent. Tell you that much. I t tell you that much. Not marginal to decent is a D lineman. Great to elite. There we go. All right. Um, and we're gonna see. We're gonna find out more later. Yeah, like in the uh, what is it? In the uh, off season. Um. Is there potentially someone later on here that we could find good to solid to good, good to great? For being a day three guy, that's not terrible. I want to know more though. Like Livingston, great to elite Portum. Nope. I can't have a poor strength or a poor speed as a D end. We can't. We can't have it. Our D ends are just off rip right right away. Our strong boys or like decently fast boys so like a yeah, solid to good and good to great i'll take that because that's at least a backup especially in a third fourth um but also could be a guy that's just a you know great to elite solid to good we're great to elite if it's a great to elite we'll look at him uh jared sexton huh solid good good to great it's not bad um Power rusher, huh? Decent, solid, good to great. Power move is an A, which is nice. Well, be, uh, six five. Let's take a look at him, because he's also if he's if he's if they're good to great as an outside linebacker, as a D end, right? Like, what are they going to be as a D end? You know what I mean? So it's like, like for instance here, Tracy Love, great to elite speed. Decent to solid to decent to solid strength. His block shedding is a D. God damn, his tackle is a D. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, dude. I I was about to take a chance with you, man, potentially, but we can't do that. We can't. We can't do that. All right, I'm not. There's no point in us drafting a punter or a kicker right now either. So, um, yeah, I think that's just a couple extra guys. It'll be interesting to see this draft. Right tackle. Uh, right tackle center, fullback, uh, free safety, and then some backup linebackers. I think is where we're gonna go. And especially, like, I wanna, I wanna see if we can find some more D linemen, right? Um, but now, because we changed this up last year, so we're gonna change it and we're gonna keep it here because I kind of like it. We're going to scout the Philadelphia Eagles right now. And next week's uh, and the next episode, we're gonna just go straight into the Super Bowl. Like there will be no, no time. It's just boom, Super Bowl, right? Um, we already played the Eagles as well. I thought we had, and uh, I thought we had, and then I went and looked, and yes, we did. We played them already. So with that being said, let's take a look back at that game, because that game was when we played Villain, um, right here in Week Four. And it was a 28-24 game. They had a lot of passing yards on us, and we just ran and did our normal thing. We They didn't run at all. But Burrow torched us. But then also we hurt Burrow, and the rookie came in. And the rookie did well, too. So, Duggan threw an interception. Keaton went off. Duggan went off. C-Rod went off. Right, but Devin Singletary didn't do anything. Waddle, Jalen Reed, Olave. Yeah. And then defensively, right, all of their guys are going to be on there. But let's take a look at them. Like I said, it was a four-point game, and we won. It was in Philadelphia, too. This game, hopefully, um, I think this game is going to be... I think we are the home team, but I could be wrong about that. Because it just says Super Bowl and then the logo. So I honestly don't know. Um, we'll find out. Uh, but let's go roster. Let's go look. Let's see what we got. Who are we playing against? Eagles. Joe Burrow. Jonathan Allen. Jalen Waddle. Dallas Golden. Kendall Fuller. Chris Olave. Elgin Jenkins. Devin Singletary. Justin Reed. Amani Hooker. Brady Jarrett. TJ Edwards. Connor Williams. Quiddy Pay. Jaden Reed. John Runyon. Cam Robinson. Akeem David Gaither. Davis Gaither. Deron Bland, Jason Myers, Luke Betts. Yeah, this is this team is. This is going to be a challenge and a half. But 
I think we're up to it. I think we're up to it. I think I think we're up to it. I think we're ready to rock and roll, man. I think we're up to it. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Um, like I said, nice, nice relaxing day off, right? Nice relaxing day off here, right? Don't need to worry about it. But we're focused. We're focused on franchise history. Focusing on history, okay? Next episode, Super Bowl. Huskies. Eagles. That's all we need to know. That's all we are going to know. Until next time.